Okay. <laughs> hey everybody, it's Miss D and Miss D Reese, and welcome back to the Summer Smorgas Board of Reading Part 2. And today's book is The Ambrose Deception. See right there? By Emily Ecton. Now, it's a pretty cool book. I would say um, readers starting from grade, from age nine and up, you know, it's a great for middle school. And it's all about these three kids who were promised a scholarship if they would do a scavenger hunt throughout um, Chicago. And I, I, what I like about it is the fact that you have, um, you learning all about the city itself as, as they go through the process. One of them is not taking it seriously. The other two are like, yeah, okay, we, we all in. But they realize, even though they're given a driver and allowed to ride all around to try and find these clues, they realize two things about the competition. One, okay, is this really for real? Are we going to get this, this $10,000? And then two, um, they're noticing also that it just, just something just seems a little off about it. So they're doing all the scavenger hunt. I think it's pretty cool because it's written in a narrative format. And I try to bookmark a couple pages here where you can see it actually looks like, you know, notes that they've written, handwritten notes, see little scratched out stuff there. And, and then they also have areas where you can see the there's their list. They're crossing off their list. And you can see like text messages that they sent between each other. So it's written and pictures. So it's written pretty cool uh, how how it is, and but it's there's a definitely a twist at the very end uh, of it. Um, but you know, I think it's just cool how they they go through the process of going about trying to find the clues so that they can get this prize. And of course, there's a twist at the end, so I can't reveal that part. But um, well written. Not a very big book, but a very interesting book for kids, especially kids that like mysteries and things like that. So that's today's book. I hope to catch you very soon with yet another book in the Summer Smorgasbord of Reading. Bye.